Tutorial time, guys. Let's head on over to the worksheet. All right, let me share my screen. Ta-da! So if you haven't already, go down to the description and you'll see Indonesian Jam worksheet. And it's going to look just like this. The basis of the worksheet is the Pelog scale, which Wilson shared with us. And it's this five note scale here in this box. Sounds like this. All right, C, E, F, G, B. In addition, if we want to get a little bit more adventurous, we can put a fourth above each of the notes um, at the bottom. And it's going to sound like this. Ooh, it's pretty exotic. <laughs> uh, he also mentioned trills. Remember, he talked about the bamboo flute in the orchestra playing trills. So if you have a trill, it's labeled with a TR above a note. And you just play the note above it. You wriggle back and forth. And it's going to sound like this. All right. The backing track you will find by scanning this QR code right over here. So when you guys are ready, scan that. And it's going to take you straight to a backing track which you can play along with. Page two is where we're going to jam. All the notes that have been written out right over here are what's going to be played um, in the backing track. In the gaps, that's where we're going to improvise. All right. And I'll talk you through a little bit about that in a second. Down here, we can also add fourths and some trills, so feel free to explore that as well. Now, if you're wondering, hmm, how do I improvise? Well, fear not. I've got two options for you that you guys can play around with. The first thing that you can do is you can start altering the rhythm. And you do that by picking one of these options. All right. So you've got four different options for rhythms. You just pick one, and then you cut and paste it to the melody. So for instance, if you look at measure one, which goes like this. I'm going to go ahead and pick A. And I'm going to cut and paste that rhythm over this melody. And it's going to sound like this. Yeah? What about this one? I'm going to take this melody over here. And I'm going to use D as the rhythm. Simple enough. All right. So you can mix and match the rhythms if, if you want, um, or you can just pick one rhythm and then you maintain it throughout the whole jam. Okay. Now you can also change around some notes if you're daring. So let's say if you select two eighth notes to replace the quarter note, you're going to move to the note immediately above or below in the pillock. Let me explain. Once you get to this E here and you're using eighth notes, you have to think to yourself, hmm, what is the note above or below E in the pillock scale? And let's double check. The note above E is F. The note below E is C. So you're going to use either a C or an F as the second note. So it's going to sound like this. Does that make sense? Let's try another one. What about this melody here? All right. Once again, you're looking at the C. What's the note below C? Well, it's either going to be a B or the note above C is an E. And we're going to go down. So we're going to go. All right. So as long as you stick to the note of the Pelog scale, either going up or down, you're going to be fine. OK, you know what I'm going to do now? I'm going to go ahead and try jam through the Indonesian jam. All right. I'm going to play around with some rhythms. Might even add some fourths. Play around some trills. Let's see how we go. So I'm going to go ahead and play the backing track now. And it sounds like this. One, two, three, four. guys think it's my first ever Indonesian jam so give it a go guys play around with changing the rhythms use some of the rhythms that I suggested suggested in page three 
add some force, give it a little bit of color, put some trills in random places, see what happens. I'd encourage you guys to listen to some of the YouTube clips that uh, Wilson has suggested. Click into them, have a listen, see if you can even mimic the sounds of the gamelan on your instrument. And um, that's the whole thing about jamming and creating your own style using these different scales, seeing if you can get as close as you can to their sound, but also you might be able to create your own unique sound using the padlock. Who knows? But I'll tell you what, until then, happy jamming. We'll look forward to seeing you guys again at the next episode. See you guys later on.